Good morning and welcome to Super Sunday Club this Easter Sunday morning. Happy Easter to you. I hope this is you're well and you're ready for a morning full of activities. So we're going to start with a little game. This game is called Kim's Game and it's a memory game. What I need you to do is to have a look at all the different items that are on the ground. So we have some Play-Doh, we have some thread, a carrot, a sheet pencil, a paper clip, some scissors, a clothes peg, an orange, a pen, a watch, a dice, a Christmas bauble, a cross, a stone, a tea bag, a bracelet, a shell, a pine cone, a plastic egg and a spoon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover everything over and I'm going to remove one of the items. And I want you to work out what is missing. Okay, so have a good look. Have a good look at all the items. And I'm going to cover it up in three, two, one. Okay, and I'm going to remove something. And I want you to have a look and see what is missing. Can you see it? Do you know what's missing? Well, well done if you said an orange. Okay, let's try it again. Have another good look. And I'm going to cover it up. Oh, not quite covered. And I'm going to remove something. What have I removed? Can you see what's missing? Give you another little minute to think about it. If you said the Christmas tree bauble, you're right. Well done. Okay, last time I'm going to cover everything up. Oh, last time, we'll make it hard one, will I? I am going to remove something. Do you know what's missing? Have a good look. If you said sheep pencil, then you were right. Well done. Excellent. Good memory work. So at Easter, we remember when Jesus died and rose again, he removed all the barriers that stood between us and God. All our mistakes were wiped away and the price was paid. Because of Jesus, we can choose to follow God and enjoy a perfect relationship with him. This Easter Sunday, we remember that the tomb was empty. And we're going to watch a short film, Saddleback Kids. And if you Google, um, God is with us, Saddleback Kids, we're going to hear the story and watch the story together. Come back when you've watched it and we'll continue on. So in that video, we saw a reminder of the Easter story. That on what we call Good Friday, Jesus was killed on a cross and then his body put in a tomb. On the Sunday, some of the women came to visit him, to care for his body. I wonder what they were thinking as they came. And I wonder what they thought when they saw that the stone was rolled away. And inside, all that was there was a piece of linen cloth that had been wrapping Jesus' body. Where had he gone? Why would somebody take him? Well, the last thing they were thinking was that Jesus was alive. Yet Jesus had said that this would happen. So hard to believe, so hard to understand. And then they spoke to who they thought was the gardener. And Mary realised that it was Jesus. That he was there. That he was alive. One word he said to her, the word Mary, made her realise who he really was. He was Jesus, risen from the dead. I wonder what she was thinking then. The emotion that must have come over her, happiness to see him alive, the confusion as to what, what has just happened. 
And then Jesus said to her, go and tell the others. Go and take this good news to other people. Let them know. And that's exactly what they did. They ran back to tell the other disciples. And then over the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to many more to tell them and to prove to them he was indeed alive. And the video talks about the words that we read in Matthew 28. And surely I am with you always to the end of the age. You see, we can hold on to that promise because we can see that Jesus kept his promises. That God had a plan. That all of this was planned, that Jesus would have to die for us. Take the punishment for the bad things that we've done. But that he would overcome death. To show God's power. And we can hold on to that. We can hold on through whatever we go through. We can hold on to that promise. That God will be with us always. Even until the end of the age. We're going to do a little prayer activity just now. And it's one that I want to think about. Just sometimes. Maybe we don't notice Jesus around us. Maybe we aren't really looking. Maybe like the women who came to to see Jesus, to care for his body, maybe they didn't really expect to see him alive, but we can. So we're going to do this little activity and what it involves us doing is taking a piece of kitchen roll and folding it in half. On the top, I want you to, to draw something. I've written Jesus. And then I've just put a little curvy line that I guess might look like the outline of the the tomb. Then lift up and on the underside piece, I want to draw something else and some other colours. I've put the outline of a sun and some rays coming out. And then I've said, is alive. Then we're going to water and fold the, the kitchen roll in half again. And then we're going to place it into the water and to see what appears. And as we're doing that, let's pray that we can see Jesus around us. Let's pray that although we know his promises, that he's with us, we can't actually see him himself, but we can see the effects of Jesus. So take your drawing and put it in the water. And the message comes out. And then we do that, we give thanks that Jesus is alive, that we can celebrate today, Easter Sunday. I do a little craft. For this, all we need is some sellotape, some scissors, a clothes peg, some colouring in pens or pencils, And if you can see on my screen, I've cut out two pieces of card. One is kind of like a half circle and a smaller whole circle. If you've got some card around, that's great. Or use um, a bit of a cereal box. Or if you don't have any card, then paper is fine. What we're going to do is colour in a half circle. And we're going to make it look like the tomb. So at the bottom, what we need to do is to draw some grass. Technically, it was probably more a desert, but uh, we're going to go for some grass. And then a very small circle. And in it, we're going to write the words, Jesus is alive. And then colour in the rest of the tomb. I've gone for a grey kind of stone colour, but you can colour any colour you want. Then... We're going to colour in the whole of the circle and that is to be like the stone for the tomb. Once you've done that, then fix the half circle to the top of the clothes peg. You might need a little bit of sellotape at the back just to keep it in place. Then we're going to carefully place the whole circle onto the bottom half of the clothes peg. Again, a little bit of cell tape is needed to keep that in place. Then 
when you press your little clothes peg, it should reveal, it should be covered over so you can't see the writing, but when you press it down, it will reveal Jesus is alive. And our little tomb craft, just to remind us of our story today. Final thing we're going to do is sing a little song. This one is called One, Two, Three, Jesus is Alive. It's very straightforward and there's a lot of repeating in it. So if you Google One, Two, Three, Jesus is Alive, or I've put the link in the comments on Facebook, and enjoy this song. And it all remains for me to say is very, have a very happy Easter. And hopefully you'll join us next week for next week's Super Sunday Club. Take care and God bless.